This is pre-algebra chapter 3.2 part 2. Solving a problem arithmetically or algebraically. We're simply going to solve the same problems using arithmetic and then again using algebra. And here's our first example. We'll solve using arithmetic first. The perimeter of the rectangle is 48 centimeters. Find its length, L. We know that the perimeter is the sum of twice the length and twice the width. So we'll begin by finding twice the width. 2 times 6 equals 12. We know that our full perimeter is 48 centimeters. So we'll subtract 12 away from that to find out what twice our length is. So 48 minus 12 is 36. We'll then divide 36 by 2 to find the length. And that gives us an answer of 18. Our length is 18. This is how we would solve using arithmetic. Now let's talk it through using algebra. To solve for length using algebra, we'll begin by writing the formula for perimeter. Perimeter equals 2 times width plus 2 times length. Now we'll substitute what we know. We know our full perimeter is 48 centimeters. We know that our width is 6 centimeters, and we don't yet know our length. Now we simply solve. 48 equals 2 times 6, which is 12, plus 2L. We'll subtract 12 from each side, giving us 36 equals 2L. And then we solve by dividing each side by 2. giving us an answer of 18 equals the length. We've just solved the same problem using very similar logic, but one way with arithmetic and the other using algebra. Let's try another problem like this. If you run one mile per hour faster than your current speed, you can finish the last three miles of the race in half of an hour. What is your current speed? First, let's work through this using arithmetic. We have all of the information we need to calculate our new speed. We know that we can run the last three miles in half of an hour. So let's divide 3 by 0 0.5, which gives us an answer of 6. So our new speed is 6 miles per hour. We know that our new speed is 1 mile per hour slower than our current speed. So we'll take our new speed, subtract 1, and find that our current speed is 5 miles per hour. All right, now let's solve this using algebra. We begin solving algebraically by writing down the formula for distance, which equals rate times time. We know our distance and we know our time, but we don't yet know our rate. If x equals our current speed, then x plus 1 will equal our new speed. So let's begin by inserting the information we know. We know that our distance is 3 miles, and if we run it at a rate of x plus 1, we'll finish in a time of 0 0.5 hours. Now we distribute 0.5x plus 0.5 will give us 2.5 equaling 0.5x which gives us x equaling 5. Therefore, our current speed is 5 miles per hour. When I see you tomorrow, we'll work together through a couple more problems like this that ask you to use both your arithmetical thinking and your algebraic thinking. See you tomorrow.